Hi, good morning, welcome back. I know it's been a while. Last time I was here, I talked about all these great plans I have for my YouTube channel, and well, life got in the way. But here I am, I'm back, and today I want to talk about what I've been reading this last couple of weeks. So, most of you will be aware that I started off the year saying I wanted to read a book a month, and so far, I've probably had a month or two off. I've made up for it in other months. So this last month I've read quite a few books. It is a mixture between proper books and on the Kindle app on my iPad. Um, so I'm just gonna go through about what I've been reading and what I've been particularly enjoying this last month. And I will start with the books that I have on my Kindle. So I haven't been using electronic device for reading very long it was kind of a desperate measure i'd read all the books that i had um currently here at home and i was desperate so i looked on there um, my husband has prime so i thought i would just pick up some free reads and actually so far i've been really really lucky so the first one i have read is um this is me and it's by Shari Lowe and she's a best-selling author. Let me go back if it will let me. This is me by, Char by Shari Lowe. It is your typical Jojo Moyes type book. It is a rom-com, easy read, uh, girly lit, whatever you fancy it calling. It's all about two lives, two loves, but which one would you choose? it's about the other woman and as you start to read it you will grasp what it's all about and i really really enjoyed it i thought it was a great read i read this on my holiday and for me i yeah i really enjoyed it it was it was good um yeah i was just trying to see if i could find what's on the back of it yeah, it's all about empty nest syndrome, basically. Somebody has been married previously. They've had children with them. Um, or have they been married? No, they've just been together. They got together when they were young at university. They had their first child. It wasn't planned. And then life moves on and she carries on. She gets her own business. She has her own life. She comes across other men. And then when her children fly the nest, they go off to live in America. Or one's in the... Um, navy i believe and then somehow she's thrown back to her old partner and it's all around that and the way it goes but it's also twisted with her parents and you're seeing the life through her mum's eyes as well who also had her child very young unplanned and stuck with the man or the boy at the time and stuck with man for the rest of her life he dies unexpectedly and that sort of unravels as well so it's almost like two lives in one two stories in one book i really enjoyed it i think it was a little bit predictable um but overall i really enjoyed it i think it's a good read to pick up if you've got prime reading it's free at the moment so i suggest you do pick it up um it's called this is me it's it is gripping and it's a little bit rough like raw in places but overall really really enjoyable so this is me i definitely recommend it next one i'm going to go on to is a jojo moyes book this is she's one of my favorite authors actually for easy reads um uh, the style of writing she has really suits me especially for after a long day working and with the children picking this up is always really enjoyable this is called the horse dancer i actually picked this up on holiday in one of the you know like the used bookshelf where you can go and swap books because I was actually reading this as me and then I picked this up I didn't expect to be able to read much on holiday but I did I managed to read that and all of this so this is in a hidden corner of London Henry La Chapelle is teaching his granddaughter and her horse to defy gravity just as he had done in France 50 years ago but then disaster strikes and 14 year old Sarah is left to fend for herself Forced to share a house with her charismatic ex-husband, her professional judgment called into question. Lawyer Natasha's life seems to have gone awry. When her path crosses Sarah, she sees a chance to put things right. But she doesn't know that Sarah is keeping the secret and that will change all their lives forever. This is really heart-wrenching in times. Poor Sarah is left to fend herself, gets taken into care. And at the same time, you're seeing Natasha, this lawyer who is split from her husband, 
having to pick up the pieces. She comes across her in a really unusual way and their two stories intertwine. Um, the journey they go through with Sarah is amazing um, and it is a happy ending. I will put that out there. I'll try not to ruin it for you too much. But this is a really, really easy to pick up book. I really enjoyed it. Jojo Moy, she never disappoints. It's a fair old book, but really worth it. Um, it's really hard to talk about this much without giving the plot away. But yeah, definitely one to pick up. Next one is completely different to what I've been talking about so far, and that is The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Most of you will know what this is about um as you would expect it's about auschwitz it's about lael who arrived in auschwitz he was given the job of tattooing all the prisoners marked for survival scratching the numbers into the fellow victims arms in ink to create what would become one of the most potent simple symbols of the holocaust reading about his life in there was eye-opening. I knew about the Holocaust and what had gone on in the detention camps, but not to this scale. Um, it's harrowing. It really is. And you see lives of other people within this. Um, it feels wrong to say I really enjoyed it, but I did. It, when I had it on my shelf, or somebody had given it to me and I'd had it on my shelf, and I didn't expect it to be something I particularly enjoy because I thought it would be upsetting, distressing, and not, sounds really awful again, not entertaining, and I like a light read, really. This was definitely not a light read, but you can see why it's an international bestseller. It was incredible. I couldn't put it down, and I finished it within days. Really, really enjoyed it. Really moving. Definitely one to pick up. The next one that I actually have not quite finished yet, I'm very close to finishing, is a Cecilia at Home book. And that is Liarbird. Um, it seems that this woman is built entirely on secrets, created on one, raised on one, and exists on one. This is something completely different to what I've read before. I've read plenty of Cecilia's books before, but this seems different in a way. It's written differently. It's a different kind of um, story. Basically, it is about a girl that is found in the mountains, in the hills, in a cabin that belongs to two farmers. One of the farmers dies, they're twin brothers, and a documentary team come and see the other twin, and while they are there, they find this girl in the woods in this farmhouse. The other farmer is, has no clue about him, her whatsoever, and she has some strange traits, so she mimics, she mimics sounds. And so they go set on their way to make another documentary about her, this time and it's the trial of like them getting like filming the um adventure and things of course with any cecilia book there is an element of love in there i'm not going to give it away but the characters are you get to really like the characters or become really agitated and dislike the characters she writes really really well in this but it makes it a very easy read at the same time so if you're looking for something a little complex a little deep this is not the book for you. If you want something light just to pick up when the kids are in bed or when you finish work or while you're travelling on the train, then this would be it. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend the hardback because this is heavy. I don't like reading hardbacks. I find them incredibly tiring. <laughs> um, but overall, a really good book. I'll report back what the ending is like next time. But yeah, I definitely I would recommend it if you're not there for anything serious. Thanks for watching. I really need a new wish list of books to read. I feel like reading something a little bit more like this next. So if you have any recommendations, then please do let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.